Is it still the government's position that the withdrawal agreement needs to be reopened? Well, we've made it very clear, and Parliament's made it very clear, just as importantly, that changes need to be made to the Northern Ireland I've Republic of Ireland I've asked you a very specific backstop. question, Mr Wright, and you, the Prime Minister has said what she's talking, this is what she told the House of Commons, it will involve reopening the withdrawal agreement. Is that still the case? Well, the withdrawal agreement sets out the current arrangements know, for the backstop. So inevitably, if you want to change the arrangements for the backstop, then we need to address what it says. There are a number of different ways, as you know, in which we might do that. And those are the conversations the Prime Minister's having at the moment. But there's no lack of clarity. You, you, won't, you won't say that you, want to re, you, you insist on reopening the withdrawal agreement. Well, I think what's obvious is that Parliament, and I think probably people well beyond Parliament, are concerned about the potential indefinite nature of the backstop. I, I That's understand all of that. There is a very specific about. issue. Will but, you reopen right, it look, or not? Are we've you got to do something about that. If this is the only way of doing it, then that's the way we will pursue. If there are other ways of doing it that are just as effective, that perhaps we haven't so yet you, explored, you think a, a legal letter or a codicil or something could it, be as effective? Well, I, as I say, I don't think it's the mechanism that matters. It's the objective. If you can get to a place where the potential longevity of the backstop, the potential that the locked backstop lasts forever can be adequately dealt with, that's what we're all seeking to do. That's what Parliament's been very clear that it wants. It will back mm. this deal if we can do something about the backstop. The mechanism is what we're discussing at the moment. But Parliament needs to give the Prime Minister the space to go and have that conversation with Brussels to see what we can achieve. And if we can do something about that, then I think it's very clear that Parliament will be prepared to support this deal. Very important that it does so, because as you've just of been course. hearing from Airbus and as we heard from others, getting an end to the uncertainty we have at the moment is fundamentally important. Getting a deal will achieve that, and that's what we should all want to do.